Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this short video I want to talk to you about the 1960 Jerry Seinfeld Beetle that crossed the Amelia Island Gooding & Company auction. I've been getting bombarded for the past few weeks now in regards to that beetle and people asking me what's my take on it and Chris was that the beetle that you did for Jerry? And I'm like no, I wish it was the beetle I did for Jerry. If you want to know, um, I did a partial restoration on a Seinfeld car and it was a 56 oval window beetle. Uh, and it was in the baby blue colors that they offered that year, like the horizon blue. And uh, we did some interior work and motor work for him and it was pretty cool. But no, my car was not the one that crossed the block. So uh, yeah, that 60 slammed down at $110,000. Uh, and then after the premiums and the fees of the auctions and such, I think it was a total of $121,000. So yeah, that's pretty damn high for a, for a Beetle, especially a 60 Beetle. Now, if any of you guys out there that have a 60 Beetle, just rest assured, your car is not worth that kind of money yet. Uh, but the good thing about that auction was the fact that the interest in the Beetle in general and the growth of the Beetle uh, and value over time for the Beetle has been increasing. Um, not by leaps and bounds, but every year I mean like I keep saying sometimes between 10 and 20 percent increase each year I keep seeing the beetle increasing in value so um, the interest still lies there remember this was an international car so the the world you know has been touched by the beetle so not just you know select countries it's, it was a global car uh, so that that's you know really good for its future uh, so basically you know, I did see some ranting and raving on Facebook of a lot of these people saying, oh my God, how can somebody pay $110,000 for this car? What's, what's, the, what's the hobby coming to? And all this stuff. I'm like, hey, look, you got the money. You got one hundred and ten grand to slap down on a Beetle. More power to you. I'm sure that guy probably worked hard his whole life. And, you know, we get this inclination that these people are just filthy rich and they just throw money around. But, you know, I've been to some of these auctions and I've spoken to some of these people and you know a lot of these people started from very humble beginnings, started with nothing and started a whole business and you know if, if you're able to you know make a living like that and you can throw money around and buy a beetle for 110 grand, you know what, more power too. I do not think the guy was thinking about the current value of the car. He was looking at the Seinfeld name attached to the car. So let's just get that straight guys. Um, that's what it was. It was a, a celebrity name attached to that car. Now, I think Seifeld auctioned off about 18 cars that day, and some of them did not do well at all. Uh, I think in total, the, uh, I think all the cars put together uh, made about 23 million. I think they were projecting from 25 to 27 million they thought all the cars were going to go for. So, not all the cars w uh, did well. Uh, so I think it was the Beetle towards the end that actually uh, resurrected some of the uh, the slowness that w was occurring with some of his cars. But I think that was only one, like one quarter of his collection. So he's got more cars, guys, um, and he's got more Beetles. So uh, we'll see. But no, it does not dictate the market. Uh, that 110 does not dictate the market at all. So like I said, if you have a 1960 Beetle, it is not worth that yet. Um, as time goes on, maybe it will be. Um, it might have its ups and downs, but um, overall, just in general, the, the picture is great for the Beetle. And um, just keep that in mind. I mean, uh, the interest is, is, is very good, so the growth is good. So that's my take, guys. Plain and simple. S celebrity car. That's why I went for 110. And that's it. So it was an all original piece. I think it was uh, 15,000 original miles on the car. Pretty cool. Um, I've come across a few of those and uh, damn I wish I still had them so <laughs> anyways um, that is my take on it the 1960 Beetle that crossed the block at Amelia Island uh, Gooding & Company that's a good auction uh, keep an eye on Gooding & Company RM auctions Bonhams those are the good uh, auctions to watch when it comes to the European classics so alright guys take care